In this video, we will start to explore how you can use conditional formatting to improve the look and feel of your template here in Excel. And what is very important, this is really useful, is that conditional formatting uses color coding. And with color coding, you can start to signal certain level of importance. So let me explore here with you how we can use that. So for example, here we have a table with our source data. And we have here the stock keeping unit, which is the product ID. We have the product name, and these are all different donuts. And we have the amount that we currently have in stock. And as you can see here, we have a few many, and some are almost sold out. And what, a goal, what our goal is, is basically here to quickly indicate or highlight the ones that are sold out or almost sold out, we, where we can pay our attention to. Why is this important? If you're going to make a system in Excel, we're going to use, for example, a inventory system, which is one of my videos. You might want to create a separate dashboard for that, or a separate tab, which is a dashboard where you can quickly see the most important information. And for an inventory system, what is the most important information? Basically, how many items are currently still left, and do we need to order new items now, or, or we have to wait yet? So what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight the ones that are almost sold out, and we do that in a different color coding. First of all, we have the, the ones that are well stocked, which is 10 and above, which is fine. We don't need to do anything with that. We can give it a green color, or we can just ignore it, just keep it as basic. But what we do want to highlight are the one that is below 10 or specifically below 5. And the one that is below 3 should get a different color even more because it is almost sold out and it's very urgent. So with this, the inventory or the stock keeper can immediately notify the baker to, to bake some strawberry donuts, chocolate donuts or anything else what is necessary. So how can we do this? Well, first of all, we're going to select the ones here and we're going to give them a conditional formatting. And the conditional formatting is in your home tab. And then you select here condition formatting and you can select here the rules for the cells. So we have the cell select that we want to highlight. And then here we start to implement the rules. So what do we want to do? Well, very simple. We want to indicate when or we want to make a color the moment we hit five or below. So what we will do here is we can select here this cell highlight rule. Click on this and once you see this you can see here the new formatting rule and you can select here different options. I would prefer for the classic which is the very straightforward process. Alright so once we select this we can select here cell formats uh, format only cells that contain and as you can see here a cell value which is specific, all right, less than, well, in our case, we want five or below. So that's less than or equal to, like you say here, number five. And if that's the case, we want to highlight this yellow. So once we did that, we confirm that, and immediately you will see here the color changing. So this is wonderful. However, which one is more urgent to solve? The one that has a higher urgency should have a more prominent color. In this case, we want to make this red. How to do that? Well, we do again here the same situation. We give it another conditional formatting rule. And in this case, we do the same highlight cell rules, less than, we select this. And once we have this here, we have again our classic style. Here, we will select again less than, Anything less than three can become, we can select here anything else. We can even give it a custom format. So we can give it all these colors. However, that's not necessary. In this case, I will ignore that. We will just keep it red like this and confirm. As you can see now, we immediately get a red color for this. So what happened here with the New York, New York cheesecake or the donut, the New York cheesecake donut? So imagine we have now here six, nothing happens. But if we adjust this to five, now it jumps to a yellow color, highlighting it. 
and this is useful for a dashboard especially if you have an inventory system if you've seen my other other video where i cover a complete inventory system the dashboard can be added with this tool here you can make a separate tab getting all the data and then highlight them here this will help you a lot and makes your dashboard more user friendly by showing the most important items so if you have questions about this just put them in the comment section and if you enjoy videos about excel that teaches you how to become more better in excel just subscribe to my channel